Hey, good afternoon on another glorious day in Boston. So, the last 24 hours news is trickling in about the remarkable and daring raid that Israel conducted in less than a week ago in Masyaf, Syria, which I want to speak about in a minute. But before that, I want to touch on the Dvar Torah from this week's Torah portion. At the end of Kitete, we read the story of Amalek again. <laughs> the Torah commands us that we have to wipe out Amalek from existence. In every generation, it's a biblical commandment to wipe out Amalek. Amalek represents terror to the world, people who kill, who are evil, who just want to hurt. And it's our responsibility to wipe them out and to make sure that they can't hurt people. And the truth is that since October 7th, that's what Israel has been doing for a full year. And this is what America has been doing since September 11th, fighting terror and trying to de-radicalize the world from people that are fundamentalists. But it's interesting, because if you read the verse, it says that remember what Amalek did to you when you left Egypt. And it says, you were leaving Egypt, va'ata oyev v'yagea. You were tired and weary. Now, what does oyev v'yagea mean? So, many commentaries give different words for it. Tired, weary, exhausted. But basically, the word oyev v'yagea means the same thing. It's like almost saying, you were tired and tired. Why would the Torah use both words? <coughs> Why would the Torah be repetitive in saying, va'ata oyev v'yagea? And the commentary says something very beautiful. There's two types of tiredness. One type of tiredness comes from just being tired from doing nothing. You were out all day, you slept, you, you schwitzed, you're so tired, but you're tired, but you're not accomplished. You feel tired from doing nothing. It's the worst thing. But that's ayif, that's just tiredness. But then there's viyageya. Viyageya <laughs> means tiredness, but it comes from the, from the same root word as to toil, as the Torah says, the toil of your hands you will eat. And there's a certain tiredness that comes. Yes, I worked hard. I was out all day. It's a long day, but I feel accomplished. I did something. I impacted the world in a positive way. I changed the surrounding environment. I did something that's positive. And in a certain sense, that's how us Jews have to feel. It's almost October 7th, one year. And it feels so exhausting and tiring. We're fighting terror in so many ways, in so many places. And it's so constant with so many enemies. But when you accomplish something, when you're succeeding in what you're doing, you have to be able to recognize that and feel accomplished and understand what you're fighting for and what your cause is. So last week there was reports that Israel bombed in Syria. It's happened before. But something seemed different. And yesterday, on Syrian opposition news and later trickled on and confirmed by Israeli news, we found out what happened. You see, from 2016 to 2018, Israel bombed <laughs> and destroyed <coughs> almost all of Hezbollah's missiles that were being stored in Syria by Iran. Iran has all these proxy wars they're fighting, all to hurt Israel. And one of the main ones is Hezbollah. But how do they get these precision medium missiles to Hezbollah? So they were building them in Syria. And Israel destroyed most of them. So then they came up with this idea. In 2018, they began, began building a missile factory, a precision missile underground in Masyaf. And the reason was twofold. One, Masyaf is near the border to Lebanon. So if Hezbollah needed it at any point, they would be able to get to them quickly. But another issue was that Masyaf is deep in caves. The terrain is very cavey. And they sort of how Iran has built their nuclear bombs and nuclear facilities in Iran. They've built it into mountains so it can be bombed. And Israel's been monitoring it since 2018. And Israel realized and acknowledged that it's not going to be able to bomb it because of the terrain in Masyaf. And Israel came up with a plan <laughs> through Sayeret Matkal, which is the elitist unit in Israel. Sayeret Matkal one, where they were going to go in there and raid it and bomb it from within side. Twice they called it off for danger, but last week they were successful. Imagine what they did. 
They came into Masyaf, which is very far from Israel, and they had helicopters and the, the IDF's Air Force protecting the perimeter the entire time so no reinforcement could come. Meanwhile, they had the Sayeret Matkals from helicopters coming down on ropes. They went in, they surprised the Syrian guards and killed them. And then from within, they destroyed and put in explosives and destroyed the entire place. All these precision missiles, medium precision missiles that could all hit Tel Aviv and all over Israel that they were planning for a long time was all destroyed and wiped out. A remarkable feat that puts them back so far. And as Israel gets ready to reckon with the moment they're going to have to deal with Hezbollah, there's 100,000 people still away from their home. And they keep on, just yesterday they shot 100 rockets. And the day before, Israel has to make sure that we cut off all their reinforcement of these missiles that could kill and hurt Israelis. So the Torah says, Va'ata Oyeviyageya. You know, we have to remember our Malik. We have to wipe them out. But sometimes you're tired from fighting, but you haven't succeeded. But when you think about what Israel did, all the while stopping reinforcement from coming till all the Sayeret Matkals were gone and left. And some are saying even that they took four Iranians, plus they took a bunch of intelligence with them back so they can interrogate these people and also have the intelligence of what was going on. When you think about this, it gives us hope. Yes, we're Oyev, yes, we're tired, but we're Yegea. We're tired from accomplishing. We're fighting a war on many fronts, but we're succeeding in protecting the future of Israel and the world. May Hashem wipe out Amalek and all fundamentalists and terrorists who want to kill and murder others. God bless you. Have a great